In section 12.3, we are exploring the dot product. So this is the first of two multiplication operations with vectors. And the dot product, also called the scalar product, is the multiplication operation of two vectors that produces a scalar valued result. So this multiplication of two vectors produces a constant. Now we use the dot product operation to determine the angle between two vectors. We're also going to use the dot product operation to calculate projections. So measuring how much of one vector points in the direction of another vector. So before we explore finding the angle and calculating projections, we need to establish a computation definition. So oftentimes, the angle between two vectors is not going to be known, so we won't be able to use a geometric interpretation. In these cases, we use the following computation definition, and we'll establish this definition in R2 and R3, but I want you to keep in mind that this holds true in n-dimensional space as well. So here we go, the dot product in R2. So to begin, we want to define two vectors, we'll say vector u, defined by the components u sub 1, u sub 2, and vector v, defined by the components v sub 1 and v sub 2. So the dot product of vector u with vector v is defined as follows. So we are multiplying these two vectors, u sub 1, u sub 2, and v sub 1, v sub 2. And the dot product is the sum of the product of the like components. So this would be equal to u sub 1 times v sub 1 plus u sub 2 times v sub 2. And again, I want you to note here that this produces a scalar. So very similarly, we can establish the definition for the dot product now in three dimensions. So here, let's begin by letting vector u be defined by the components u sub 1, u sub 2, u sub 3. And we'll let vector v be defined by the components v sub 1, v sub 2, v sub 3. So then the dot product of vector u and vector v is defined as u sub 1 times v sub 1 plus u sub 2 times v sub 2 plus u sub 3 times v sub 3. And again, don't forget that this produces a scalar. So this dot product or scalar product produces a constant value. So let's go ahead and look at an example. So here we are asked to compute the dot product of the following vectors. And we are given vector u and I'm going to immediately rewrite this in their component form. So we have vector u is defined as 4, negative 6, minus 3. And we're also given vector v here, which is defined as 1, 1, negative 6. And we're asked to compute the dot product. Now, we weren't asked to specify which direction, so might as well go in both. So let's begin by finding vector u dot vector v, and then we'll see what happens when we do the reverse. So here we go, multiplying vector u times vector v with our dot product, notice the dot in between, this is going to leave us with 4 multiplied by 1 plus negative 6 multiplied by 1 plus negative 3 multiplied by negative 6. And so this leaves us with 4 minus 6 plus 18 for a beautiful final answer of 16. So here is our first solution. And now let's go ahead and let's see what happens if we multiply them in the reverse order. So now we'll go ahead and we'll find vector v dot vector u. So here we go. We have vector v dotted with vector u. So this would be 1 times 4 plus 1 times negative 6 plus negative 6 times negative 3. And hopefully you're observing there's absolutely no change. We end up with the same answer, 16. 
So this was nice. This helps us to establish the first property of the dot product, which says that vector u dot vector v is the same thing as vector v dot vector u. We end up with the same scalar valued result regardless of the order.